I'll tell you what, though. If another state sued New York, uh, there's only one court in the country that has jurisdiction, exclusive jurisdiction over a suit by one state against another, and that happens to be the United States Supreme Court. They cannot bring their case in a, in a state court, a federal district court. You can only bring that case to the United States Supreme Court. Uh, a, a state attorney general, in principle, could bring a case against the state of New York right now and say, this is an unconstitutional conviction. And, you know, we know what you're going to do. It's very likely you're either going to incarcerate or impose probation. That's, you know, very, very likely. And uh, uh, that's going to hinder uh, Trump from campaigning in our state. And that gives us an injury and that gives us standing. And uh, we want to litigate whether this conviction was constitutional. That's a long shot, but uh, I kind of like that a lot, actually. It's very interesting. It, it could be done. Uh, to, Mr. Attorney General, you're planning to sue New York State over their criminal case against Donald Trump. On what grounds are you suing them? Well, the state of Missouri and the voters of Missouri have a sovereign interest in being and having access to that means a physical access to and hearing from a presidential candidate for the top office in the United States government. And uh, you've got leftists in blue states committing lawfare, unfounded lawfare against President Trump and denying Missourians of access to their uh, chosen presidential candidate. Millions and millions of Missourians have voted for President Trump and deserve the ability to be able to hear from him. We can't states like let states like New York deny Missourians of access to that candidate. Well, surely those charges that uh, that can will be thrown out, won't it? Eventually, but it'll be too late. It'll still have interfered with the 2024 yeah. election. Yeah. Let's take ourselves back to 1860. Would we have allowed a Southern Road prosecutor to, to take Abraham Lincoln off the campaign trail prior to the Civil War on specious legal charges? No, we would not have. And this is no different. I guess it takes the law to fight back against lawfare. Andrew Bailey, Missouri Attorney General, thanks for joining us, sir. I know we'll see you again.